Scores gathered at the grounds of the Princess Margaret Hospital to witness the historic groundbreaking. It's been a long time coming and it took lots of planning, but in the end, the state-of-the-art facility will not only advance health care in the country, but it will strengthen the Bahamas' position as a health care leader in the region. Tonight, Clint Watson joins me live in studio with more on today's ceremony. Now, Clint, I imagine it was a proud moment for health officials in particular. You imagine correctly, Shanique, PMH has treated well over 2 million patients in its emergency care services, logged over 250,000 surgical procedures, and registered over 200,000 live births in its maternity unit. Now the facility, which houses 405 beds and over 200 doctors and 70 consultants, is about to embark on another revolutionary venture that will make the hospital the envy of the region in critical care. Prime Minister Hubert Ingham says the overall cost of the project will be to the order Order of $75 million, inclusive of equipment. The project comprises the construction of a new critical care block, a new entry bay to the hospital, and importantly, critical utility upgrades. The present 50-year-old structure that meet all building codes, including those recommended by the American Disability Association. The block. The block will provide for the consolidation of laboratory facilities, an increased number of operating theaters, improved storage and increased availability of beds in the ICU and the NICU, improved family facilities and upgraded facilities for physicians and clinical staff. Cavalier Construction at a cost of approximately $55 million will serve as the lead contractor having already mobilized. The completion of this first phase is 24 months. Now, $55 million will be provided through a loan to the Public Hospitals Authority and the remainder of the funding, the government. Aside from construction of the new facility, employment opportunities will also be available for hundreds of Bahamians. In preparation for the completion of this critical block, 130 or more Bahamians, exclusive of physicians and nurses, are being engaged now to be trained to become surgical and orthopedic radiology Rehabilitation, Intensive Care, Laboratory, Biomedical, EKG, and EK Echo Technicians here at the facility. Additional, additionally, medical records, patient care aides, maintenance technicians, and other cert officers are being required. These training technicians are products of the National Jobs and Retraining Program undertaken by the government. The PHA has already interviewed and selected candidates in required areas for this facility and other expanded facilities here in New Providence and in Grand Bahama. The first 160 individuals will begin their training on the 28th of this month. Health Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis says a new complex exemplifies a holistic approach to health care, which will be a hallmark in this sector in the modern Bahamas. The new critical care complex is designed to include in one building services now provided in several locations. This consolidation will allow for greater efficiency, expansion of bed capacity, shorter waiting time, more outpatient surgery, new surgical procedures, especially for our elderly, example, hip and knee replacement, greater bonding between fathers and babies and proper rooms for family counseling and consultation on a timely basis not as exists today corridor consultation this new facility will also allow real-time consultation between institutions in the u.s or throughout the world thus the creation of a new economic pillar, growth, as we prepare to become the referral center of the Caribbean. We get this unique along with concierge services, a food court, gift shop, security, and general administration. The new facility will include the healing garden and improved chapel facility, as prayer and the environment are critical to any healing process. Shanique? It all sounds pretty exciting, Clint. Thank you very much. Well, the government is focused on building a hospital that will accommodate the future development of the Bahamas and its people, but it will be done in phases. This from Chairman of the Public Hospitals Authority, Vita Brown. 
we are aware that it is not a quick fix, nor a one-off intervention. Steps are being taken to analyze the full requirements and complexities of the various interventions and programs that will be needed to achieve success and optimum service delivery. Therefore, during the term of the construction, we will put our house in order to ensure that all our stakeholders are engaged in the process to install and improve quality of care that is both appropriate and affordable for our Commonwealth. Brown says the phased redevelopment of PMH will be managed to address key issues and areas in the hospital. Our hospital will be able to respond to all health circumstances and conditions and it will be constructed in a manner to mitigate damages from both man-made and natural disasters. You were made recently aware of our current challenges in these areas. The new Princess Margaret Hospital will be energy efficient, environmentally friendly, and patient-centered.